Good morning and welcome back to another video and today we are going to be going over the five best Legion gold farms that you can do right now. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. Okay, so today we're going to be going over the five best Legion gold farms that you can do right now. And this is going to be more precisely based upon quite a lot of materials to be pretty honest and that is because they usually tend to sell rather good and overall they seem to be the best thing at the moment in time uh, until like the transmog area will be popping itself up but we do have an appearance coming in for battle pets and all that stuff so that is one thing we can take into account other than that let's get into number one which is the dark heart thicket farm for Dreamleaf. Not only can you do this farm in about half an hour, you can also get a wide variety of materials when actually doing this. If you run this on a druid, it makes it a hell of a lot easier because you can use your dream walking ability to TP out and TP back in, which means you can then reset the instance a lot easier and then just overall be able to do it a hell of a lot faster than you would as a conventional other alt. If you have herbalism, then what you're going to be wanting to do is at least have rank three or at rank two at the very bare minimum. And that means that the things that you're going to be getting a hold of is a Bloods of Sargeras, and that will obviously be able to be traded into the Blood Trader within the Allegiant Dalaran on the Broken Isles. And then the other things that you'll be getting is of course Dreamleaf and also Ysera line seeds. Now these ones will be able to be sold for quite a higher value and personally I would recommend actually just milling your Ysera line seeds just straight off the bat. That's because they usually sell for pittance and they can usually be flipped into their respective pigments in order to make a little bit more extra gold. When Shadowlands actually comes about these materials would be kind of scarce because not many people will be farming them up because it's not going to be used for the ink trader all that much anymore because that will be removed with a new ink trader. So make good use of it while you can. You can always use the roseate pigments in order to sell into that vendor before it goes away in Shadowlands and get a hold of a load of old world ones which you can then sell for a lot more gold. One thing I do recommend, however, is make sure that you double check your auction house for your roseate pigments in order to make it worth it for yourselves. Aside from that, you can always double check your dream leaf that you actually get. You usually get around about 800 ish on average and then you could always look that into worth it and then double check that under flipping to see if it's worth flipping it into the materials instead of just selling the mats straight on the auction house. Failing that, selling them flat on the auction house, they usually tend to sell rather well. So let's just move into number two, which is the Stonehide Leather Farm for the Falcosaurs. Now this one is primarily in Azuna and what I would recommend by actually doing this type of farm is by getting a hold of rank three in Stonehide Leather and I'm farming this up in, in kind of like a circular motion. This is where you'll be able to gather up a load of these falcosaurs because it was used for as a world quest, but obviously those mobs are active all the time. So that is something you can bear in mind. So that means that they're gonna spawn faster than usual conventional mobs. This is why what I look for when I'm actually going about trying to look for different types of farms and all of that jazz. So with that Falcosaur farm, it's a lot worth it because there's so many of those mobs condensed into one area. They have a fast respawn rate. And also, just a little side note, those matriarchs, when you attack them, they let out a scream which make all of the little baby ones come to them. They're all skinnable. So you have a way of gathering them all up into one consecutive area in order to burn them down and skin them. My only recommendation for this is to have the Dark Moon Firewater to increase your skinning speed and that is mainly due to the fact that it's kind of worth it in order to do because the more mobs you can skin per hour means more gold per hour so I'd highly recommend doing that right there. Okay, so that being the case, let's move on to number three, which is the Fian Skaggle Farm, and that one is located within Stormheim. Now this one is primarily one of my most favorite farms for Legion content, and that is because you get so many when you loot a node for this one. And Fian Skaggle goes for a hell of a lot of gold in relation to how many you actually get from one node. So overall, I do find this one to be a lot better than the Dreamleaf Farm, unless you're going to mill the Dreamleaf then the dream lift is better if you're milling it. But if you're selling the mats flat on the auction house, Fian Skaggle is by far one of your favorite friends when it comes to Legion-esque content for herbalism. And 
quite frankly, this one sells relatively fast in the grand scheme of Legion materials. I find this one to be less on the auction house, but it's so easy to farm up. So what I would actually recommend is actually farming up a couple of hours of this one and then resupplying your auction house with the Yarn Skaggle and then just to top that up with your Dreamleaf farm as well. But aside from all of that, if you follow the route on the screen right now, you're going to get a decent chunk along and as well as that, if you go into Worth It underneath Herbalism, you'll be able to find a route in which you can actually farm this up. And that requires only the roots add-on to actually implement into your actual gameplay, so to speak. So other than that, I do find that the Fian Skaggle farm is by far a pretty decent farm and overall I would highly recommend testing it out. Now coming in at number four and at no surprise, the Margos of the Conjurer Pet Farm. Now this floating island can actually be found from the northwest of Dalaran and what you can actually do there is pretty much just jump over there and all you have to do is then fish up in that pool right there. You'll get a load of those mackerels that don't really sell all that well. They actually do still sell, but the gold for them is pretty damn piss poor overall. So I wouldn't recommend actually like going for specifically those mackerel. The thing of note that you are going for is by gathering up a load of the materials in order to trade into Margos Conjurer. Now this requires you to get your reputation up with him, so if you did that in Legion, you will have no issues right there. But realistically, I would highly recommend fishing up from there and getting a hold of the battle pets. And also, if you've got a little bit of free time, you can always get the mount, which I actually managed to get in the first week of Legion because I love fishing so much. But other than that, it is a great way in order to get a battle pet, and that is locked behind reputation as well. So you'll be able to get your reputation up while you're farming for it, and then by the end of it, you'll be able to buy a load of those battle pets to sell on the auction house. And they do sell for relatively a decent chunk of gold because of the reputation lock behind those battle pets. So overall, it's definitely well worth the effort and time to put into it if you enjoy doing the fishing profession. Now coming in last on our list, and to be honest, I knew this one was coming, and that is the Fell Slate Farm within Suramar. Now I personally find that the Fell Slate Farm in Suramar is by far one of the most best farms that you can do right now. Judging by the route on the screen, as you can see right now, this is primarily the route that I take when I'm actually doing that. I usually pair this with Herbalism for Starlight Rose, of course, and that is to increase my gold per hour. So if you have a dual gatherer with Herbalism or Mining, then it will work out a lot better. But if you do have just Mining, then I would highly recommend having Rank 3 in both Lace Lay stone and fell slate. This is to maximize the amount of gold that you're going to be getting overall for that time invested farming. And quite frankly, you'll be getting a, a stupid amount of gold for your time in relation to most other mining farms. And personally, this is still selling quite well because this was the follow up X pack towards BFA. So other than that, that is pretty much what my picks are for the five best gold farms within Legion. Have a lovely rest of the day guys and I shall see you in the next video which will be tomorrow. If you want to support the channel and help make the channel even better then why not check out the Patreon. Members get additional info, gold making resources and Patreon specific content. The link is located in the description down below. Thank you and have an awesome day.